Greetings, Scarlet Knights. Welcome to the Get Involved Training Series, Volume 1, Navigating Your Get Involved Profile. My name is Karima Woodyard. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. And I have the pleasure of serving as the Director of Student Involvement and Leadership within the Department of Student Centers and Activities. The Student Involvement and Leadership Office is located in the SAC on George Street. Our team works with colleagues throughout the university to serve all 40,000 plus undergraduate students throughout their involvement and leadership journey. Using a student center approach, the Office of Student Involvement and Leadership provides experiential learning opportunities to create transformative experiences for Rutgers University students. Our office recognizes, trains, and supports over 500 plus student organizations, student government, and commuter students through learning, advising, and advocacy support. Our goal is to connect students with the amazing involvement opportunities throughout the university. And one of the main ways we do this is through the Get Involved platform. So whether you are brand new to using the Get Involved platform, or if you are returning and seeking a refresher, this video will give you all that you need to feel comfortable with navigating this very important and fun involvement platform. Today, during our Get Involved training series, volume one, you will learn how to sign on to the Get Involved platform, how to access your profile, and how to search for events and organizations departments. So let's get started. The Get Involved platform can be reached directly from the URL getinvolved.ruckers.edu. That's getinvolved.ruckers.edu. Upon reaching the site, you will be able to log in using your NetID login and password information by selecting the sign in button at the top right corner of the page. After signing in, you will be brought to the home page. As you can see from the home page, you will be able to access almost all available features of the Get Involved platform, including your profile, the amazing events occurring on campus and virtually the 500 plus organizations and their profiles, as well as news items and other great opportunities and features on the platform. You can access these items via the tab at the top or by using the search function. In addition to the search function, the main page will also display all organizations and departments that the user has membership with. As you can see, I am a member of the Air Force ROTC, ROTC Department, the Rutgers Fencing Club, the Student Involvement Office, as well as a host of other memberships. If I selected any of the organization's departments I am a member of, it will bring me to that organization department's personal page on the platform. Now let's learn how to access your profile. If you look at the top right corner of the platform, you will find the initial of your first name. My name is Karima. So if I click on the K, it will take me to my profile. Once I have clicked the K, a drop down appears. Here I can click to view my account, Click to access my event pass. We will talk about that important feature more a little later. Take me to paths, event history, my memberships, and some other great features. Right now, I want to edit my profile. So I'm going to click on my profile. Now that I've clicked on my profile, the first thing I will do is make sure all of my personal information is correct. Why is this important? My profile is how others here at the university using the Get Involved platform see me and all of my involvement. So it's important that my name, email, et cetera, is accurate just in case someone wants to get in touch with me. Providing as much information as you are comfortable with, sharing will allow you to engage more with other users here at RU using the Get Involved platform. 
You also want to update your profile picture with a photo of you or perhaps a cool photo of your favorite character. One of the other important pieces is updating your profile to match your interests. The way the Get Involved platform works is it, is, is it matches your interests that you share on your profile. So the more opportunity you have to optimize your involvement experience and better find orgs and departments and events that speak to your interests. So what does that mean? Perhaps you are into Quidditch or baking or maybe esports. By including these interests in your profile, the better your chances with engaging with orgs and opportunities that match these interests on Get Involved. My advice? dive right in and conclude any and, and as many interests as you would like. The next item we will touch upon today is how to find and use your event pass. Now I can't stress how important this is. Since when on campus, most events, seminars and other experiences will utilize the event pass feature to check you into events. All you need to do is find your event pass by heading to the home page. Click on your profile picture or your initial on the top right corner. Once the drop down appears, you can click event pass. This will bring you to your personalized event pass QR code. Now, please remember this QR code is made for you. So you shouldn't share with other folks. Most students save their code in their phone by taking a screenshot of it or saving it in their smartphone. This is helpful when you're at a large event waiting online to check in. It makes the line go faster and gets the cool concert or event started sooner. So please, please, please save your QR code in your phone or make sure you memorize how to find it on the Get Involved platform. Now let's learn how to find organization or department's page. Like we spoke about earlier, there are a ton of cool organizations and departments on the site ready to engage with you. By clicking organizations at the top of the page, you can search the many organizations by category. So maybe I wanna search the chess club or the computer science org, or maybe I wanna check out all or cultural organizations. If I wanna do that, I can use the categories drop down to do this. Once you get the other orgs and departments sites, as you can see, I'm looking at the student involvement and leadership page. You'll find so much great information about the org or department. For example, staff members that work for the department or organization executive board members and all of their contact information. So if I am looking to hang out or join the chess club, I'll go to their page, find their e-board members, maybe hit up the president, or one of the other executive board members and have a conversation about how you can get involved. Or if you wanted to come talk to me or any of my team members, you can join us at the Student Involvement and Leadership page. You see our names and our contact information are listed and you can contact us. Many times our orgs will share the dates and times and locations of in-person or virtual meetings. They do this so that you can jot down this information to contact them or perhaps show up at their meetings to check them out. Last thing we want to share is probably my favorite, and that is how to check out all the events occurring on campus virtually. I can't stress enough. There are hundreds and hundreds of events that occur at Rutgers University of New Brunswick throughout the year. Our student organizations and departments do such a great job at sharing all of their events and meetings and seminars and learning experiences with all of you. What you want to do is click the events tab on the top. This will take you to the events page. 
Here, you can search specific events or all events. You can search events occurring today or tomorrow, next week or next month. You can search events that are in person, virtual, or events that are serving free food or giving out free swag. There is always something cool happening at Rutgers because our 500 plus organizations and our departments populate the Get Involved platform with the many events that are, they are hosting. This concludes our volume one, Navigating Get Involved 101 as part of our training series. We hope you would join us for other volumes of our series to learn more about how to use the Get Involved platform like an expert. Again, my name is Karima Woodyard and my team and I are in, are in the Office of Student Involvement and Leadership. We are here to assist you in getting involved in seeking leadership opportunities that speak to your interests. We are here to assist. See you next time.